Rejection. It happens to all of us. Kids, teenagers, grown-ups, it's impossible to avoid. Rejection is trying for something you want and being turned down or not accepted. It can make you feel sad, angry, disappointed, or even insecure. All those feelings are normal, and it's important to understand that it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It also doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the person doing the rejecting, which sounds crazy, but we're all entitled to our own opinions. So let's look at some real-life examples of rejection. Let's say you love basketball, and you practice all summer to try out for the team, but the coach says, sorry kid, you didn't make the cut. Does that mean you stopped playing basketball? No way, you love basketball. And as long as you have fun playing, keep playing it. Maybe you'll make the team next year. Or maybe you post something on social media, but your friends don't like it. That's okay, that's their opinion. But that doesn't mean you should stop posting things or hold a grudge against your friends. And sometimes rejection can be really hurtful and hard to handle. Like if you ask someone you like to go to the movies with you, but they say no. Ouch, this hurts. But it's important to respect their opinion and understand there's nothing wrong with you. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Just because they don't like you doesn't mean no one else will. So how do you deal with rejection? First, you have to accept the rejection and acknowledge your feelings. If you are really sad or angry, it's a good idea to talk to a trusted friend or adult. It's also important to know these feelings are normal and they won't last forever. Give yourself credit for trying and think about the good qualities you possess. Stay positive. We're all unique with our own opinions and that's what makes the world so awesome.